Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I've done a tutorial on this burgundy smoky eye and nude lip today because this is the response that I got when I asked the question of what look you would like to see on Twitter. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you like me, if you like my makeup, feel free to subscribe um, to my channel, comment below, like, follow me on Instagram, on Snapchat, I've got a Facebook page now as well. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you soon. Okay guys, so now let's get started with this tutorial. I'm taking my simple light hydrating cream to prep my skin and apply it everywhere in my face. Look at this pimple though, it is not nice. And I'm taking my Benefit Professional Matte Rescue uh, Primer. And patting it all over the areas where I really want my pores to be filled in. Don't mind the crazy face. And now I'm taking my Cover FX Total Cream Foundation in G70. I know I've hit pan now, I'm really sad, I use it so much. Um, and dotting it, dotting it all over my face. Make sure you wash your hands before this um, because it's not very hygienic otherwise. To, um, Apply the foundation with your hands. And don't forget to cover your neck as well. And I'm taking this Zoeva Buffer Brush now to blend the foundation into my skin. So now this is done, I am going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark to set my foundation with my Zoeva 106 Buffer Brush. I know you've seen me do this a million times, but it's really, really important so that your foundation does not move. And I'm going to do my brows off camera and I'll see you in a second. These are the brows done with the colours that I've just shown you. And I'm moving on to my eyes now. I'm taking my preferred Kiko eye primer as per usual and applying it all over my eyelids on every inch of eyelid that I'm going to apply the foundation shadow on. And using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette today, I thought I'd use it in honor of it being we stopped at this moment and I'm using White Peach Shadow um, to set my eyeshadow primer and make sure, make sure I have um, an even base. Uh, and I'm using a Morphe flat brush. Okay, so now taking my Morphe uh, M441 blending brush and this shadow from the Peach palette. Um, and applying it as my transition colour in my crease. Make sure you bring the shadow quite high because we're doing a smoke eye, so. It is going to be very, very smoky and a lot of shadow to work with. And now I'm taking this Red Earth eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills and this Morphe brush from the Gunmetal collection. And going into my crease as well, but not as high, and applying the shadow everywhere on my lid. Make sure you go progressively, like I went first um, in my crease to make sure that it was everywhere in my crease correctly, and then I went down um, on my lid. And 
think I must have spent about five minutes blending this, so make sure that the shadow is blended because it is the key to a successful smoky eye. And now I'm taking this shadow from the palette and my Morphe M330 brush and deepening just slightly my outer crease to make it even smokier. But don't, I don't, I'm not going too high with this, I'm really keeping it on the outer V of my lid and just a bit on the outer part of my crease and winging it out. I forgot that um, the palette was getting in the way of me showing what I'm doing, so I'm sorry about that. Um, next, I'm taking this Grenadine uh, eyeshadow from Nabla and this brush from Kiko, spraying it with Fix Plus and applying the shadow in the inner part only of my lid to give it this really nice burgundy tone. These Nabla shadows are really amazing, they're really cheap, like two euros or something. Um, and they're really, really pigmented. So this is the shadow applied, and I decided through while I was doing this that a little glitter couldn't hurt. I couldn't resist, so I'm taking this eye candy cosmetics glitter in cherry bomb and applying it on my lid first, and putting this Too Faced glitter insurance, um, so that the glitter sticks to my lid. Um, I have a glitter with this. Kiko brush. I have put in this glitter with the. I don't know what's going on with me and glitter, but I was like, we we're going to do an all matte look today, and then I can't resist it. So, yes, this is when the glitter is applied. Um, off camera, I just did a wing and applied House of Lashes Smoky Rouge, and the wing was done with this Maybelline. Now I'm taking this um, Morphe brush and this shadow from the Sweet Peach palette to highlight my brow bone. I'm taking in the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye concealer now and um, this Morphe concealer brush and applying everywhere I want to conceal. So under my eyes, on my forehead, on my nose, on my chin and on my feet. This concealer is really, really good because it's really thick and has really, really high coverage. And at this point, I've got the worst under eye wrinkles because I'm not drinking any more, any water at all. I keep forgetting to drink. So my under eye wrinkles are really, really bad. And in the winter, my skin it gets really dry, so it's even worse. Um, so I need that full coverage. I'm trying to get back, back on track, though. Get my water down. So yes, blended. I uh, blended everything with the Real Technique Beauty Blender, and now I'm taking an old favorite of mine, the Ben Nye Banana Powder, and applying it everywhere at the concealer with my Real Technique Beauty Blender. I'm just going to bake for a bit. And now I'm taking uh, this Morphe brush and wiping all the powder off that I've baked. And this is how it looks after it. And now I'm taking this Kiko uh, flat defining brush and um, the same shadow that I used on my outer V uh, of the lid for my under eye. And now taking this other Kiko small buffing brush and the same colour that I used um, for my Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is Red Earth, and just buffing all the shadow out. And then taking Grenadine again and this Kiko brush and only applying it on the inner part of my under eye to give a bit of a um, burgundy tone to it. Um, and now I'm taking the same shadow that I used for my brow bone and highlighting my inner corner. I also applied um, some Makeup Forever 
aquatic cell black pencil in my waterline that I forgot. I don't know where it where it went the footage of me applying that and doing my under eye mascara. And um, now I'm taking this nice Steve Klein face palette and using this contour colour um, and a Morphe brush to contour my face. Oh and the mascara I use is the Kiko um, one that I always use. So yes I'm just contouring everywhere and taking this bronzer from the palette and this Catrice Kabuki brush, the bronzer is a Laguna bronzer from Nars and it just warming up my face uh, everywhere I contour it. And I'm taking the cream colour from the palette as well to clean up my contour with this um, Morphe brush. I think it's from the Elite collection. So now this is the contouring done. And when next I realised that the footage of me applying the highlighter has completely disappeared. So um, it is the highlighter from Laura Geller. It's Gilded Honey um, and I used it with uh, M501 brush. And now I'm applying this uh, blush from the NARS palette with my Kiko um, brush. Do look like the brush. It's really, really pretty. Like it's it's like this really dark pink. Uh, I think it looks really good in dark skin tones for skin tones, skin tones for fall and winter. And um, I'm now applying my lipstick. I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color Stripped. Uh, I think because there's so much going on on my eyes, I just wanted a nude lip, and I think this color is really, really nice. Um, really, really nice nude with pink undertones. Just applying the next uh, bit of gloss, and this is um, coconut gloss from uh, New Sid. Um, I like dotting it and then patting my lips together because I find that if I just um, apply it with the applicator or glue, it moves the lipstick under it. So yes, this is the finished look. I'm just going to take my Makeup Forever setting spray and spritz my face. Okay guys, so um, this is the finished look. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope it was helpful for you. Um, let me know down below what you'd like to see next um, and I hope um, that this has been responding to what you wanted me to do um, and I'll see you soon in my next video.